are here once again, QuickBooks 2013. In this video, we're going to be covering the customers area. That's right. We'll be covering the customers. So if you're in your home tab, you'll see customers over here and everything has to do with customers. Yes, it's a nice little flow through chart. You have customers on the left hand side over here and you have customers over here as well. Many choices to choose from. So click customers over here. And as I hit customers, the screen pulled up, which is your customer center. It will give you a list of all your customers. We only have one in there right now. So we're going to be covering this area a little bit more over here. You will notice over here on the top left hand side, it says new customer and job. So what we will do for this one is we will create two customer jobs under this customer. And what customer jobs allows you to do is basically separate the income that you get for a separate jobs so you can monitor. It all comes down to monitoring and analyzing and reporting. Um, so new customer job, add a job. We will call this sales sale of forklifts hit OK you will see that it became a sub of warehouse direct go over here hit another job yes we'll do it for warehouse direct and we will call this servicing of forklifts as you can see it actually put it under sales which I don't want so we need to fix this the way you fix it is I double clicked on it. We're going to edit the job. And I need to put it under Warehouse Direct. So over here where it says Customer is where you do that. I usually don't fill out all this other information for the customer jobs. I usually use it strictly just for a reporting and segregation purposes. Now that we have our two customer jobs, go up here to New Transaction. We'll start off with Estimates. And what's really nice about QuickBooks 2013, it kind of has that Excel, Word, Microsoft feel up here. So it's definitely been enhanced in a lot of different shortcuts with buttons. And this is what's really cool and different about 2013. It really is different than the rest uh, because I am a Microsoft and a Google um, fan and I do use those. I like what QuickBooks has done. It makes me understand the software much better than before not like I didn't understand it before but the ease of it it's all right there it's it's really it's really great so we're gonna go over this right now so first thing over here we will choose a customer job we will do this one for sales and just so you guys know it does not have to be sales and servicing you know just a little more quick note about these customer jobs it could be for different projects it could be for a lot of different reasons so don't take this example as set in stone because the reality is you don't have to have a customer job for sales or servicing. Most of the time I don't even do customer jobs. Most of the time I just have my client and I put everything under that client. But that's because I like to keep things simple for what I have. Now if I step into another business that's very complex and they need this, uh, then I will use it and I have used it in the past. So don't get fooled by this customer job. You don't have to do this unless you feel like you really need to separate things. So we will do sales of forklifts. To the right over here is where you have your template. This is where we customized it in the previous video. You can customize another one. We didn't customize an estimate. We customized an, um, an invoice. Uh, so this is where you get to basically choose it, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So let's go ahead and fill in an example. An item, it's going to be forklift mamma jamma. It's the big whopper forklift. Quantity is one. And we're going to give an estimate of $13,250. Okay, hit OK. Is it taxable? Yes, it's taxable because it's an equipment. If it was a service, it wouldn't be. Yes, you can set up your California tax over here or whatever state you're in. Yes we are in California 8.25 California hit OK 
and the tax agency we pay is let's say the IRS hit OK quick add just for now hit OK and yes a calculated tax over here for us and basically save a new or you could do save and close I'm gonna do save a new for now I'm gonna hit yes a lot of yeses one more quick thing I'd like to point out is this thing over here on the side called what's new if I click it you will see that it talked about the menu bar up here yes you can do full screen view if you hit this as well I'm gonna click out of over here and speaking of this top menu bar what's really nice about this is that it kinda of leaves you a little paper trail of what's next so now that we've done an estimate I can create an invoice out of it and from here I can create an invoice and do I want to create an invoice for the entire estimate I'm gonna hit OK and that will conclude the first part of this video if you want to watch how an invoice is done please visit our website and look for part B of this video